Rosa takes a nap inside a coffin and eat Bulaga. Look here. Watch here. Main Mendoza shows courage, took a nap inside a, in the recent episode on noontime variety show Eat Bulaga, Main Mendoza boldly took a nap inside a coffin saying she lacked sleep. Fans of the phenomenal star were all at all with the actress and host's boldness in doing such stints. Mendoza's fans in social media lauded her for her lack of inhibitions in doing anything that is necessary for the show and her fans' joy. Her supporters were hyped as they expressed admiration for the star for being wild and art despite her fame. Invite you to watch the video. Possibly pregnant woman's dead body dumped at a vacant lot in broad daylight, police are now investigating the death of a woman whose carcass was put inside a sack and was thrown in a subdivision's vacant lot along Sta. Rosa, Laguna on Friday, September 23rd. Initial reports made by the cops said that the body was dumped in broad daylight by a red car, and the woman could possibly be pregnant. According to initial reports, the body was dumped in a subdivision called Garden Villas in Sta. Rosa, Laguna and was found at around 3 p.m. The woman still has clothes on, wearing a blue shirt and black leggings with an anklet and a wrist watch. A few hours after the report was shown on TV by GMA News, a social media user who goes by the name of Maru Aguilar Superboy, reposted the clip from GMA News Facebook page, identifying the lady as his cousin Marie Antoinette Tan, 20 years old. Maru claims that his cousin is not pregnant and that she was drowned to death, the reason why her stomach is bloated. Authorities said that the victim was killed using a bra adding that there were no gunshots and stab wounds found in the woman's body. One Facebook user, Michelangelo Briones, claimed that the incident happened around their area and said, Dito po salmon yan ke upon 3 p.m. tin upon yan, as in tirikangara and ji upon yan, ka wawanga yan kasi bka bunta singa kasi malaki ang tummy naya, sa subdivision pa talaga sis tin upon, grabe sana ang DDC Land Incorporated. Invite you to watch the video. President Dudert and Edgar have identical tattoos. Does this mean past brotherhood? Edgar Matabato, the self-claiming hired gun and former member of Devo Death Squad has a mark on his left hand which was said to be identical with the president's small tattoo on his right hand. Moreover, presidential adviser Jesus Dereza has the same mark on his hand, as discovered by journalist Reza Robles. Dereza and Dudert were schoolmates way back then and were known to be in good terms. But Dereza explained the meaning of the tattoo and said, We are members of the Guardian Brotherhood. It's a fraternal group of people. It started as a military fraternal group. Then they also got civilians as members. Invite you to watch the video. Gay man catches his friends using illegal drugs, what he did next was something not all men can do. These proud LGBT community members were all brought to the nearest precinct in Pasay City where they live after they almost killed each other. They were all slapped, punched, and one was even stabbed non-fatally when these friends all turn on each other. The cause of the rumble? Illegal drugs. Dio Balbuena also known as Diwata was seen modeling for the news cameras as if he was on a runway. He had bandages all over his body. After the scuffle he had with his friends whom he stopped from their pot session along where they live in Macapagal Avenue in Pasay City. These friends were Eduardo Montel and Danilo Lucas. When Balbuena tried to stop them, the two friends who were having their pot session were enraged and tried to pick on Balbuena's friend, Vincent Fuentes also known as Viona. Balbuena tried to get in the middle of the rumble, but instead he got stabbed by a cut in the forehead. Montel and Lucas tried to escape the scene, however, was chased by Balbuena in a convenience store and asked the security guard for help. Montel and Lucas were denying the allegations when they were brought to the precinct, saying that they weren't having a pot session and were just angry at Balbuena. Then, they later on admitted to using illegal drugs. Montel will be facing charges of frustrated homicide while Lucas will be charged with illegal possession of bladed weapon. Invite you to watch the video. Pinoy Pride 38, Nietes wins flyweight debut. Magseo cruises to decision win, Donny Nietes schooled ex-world champion Edgar Sosa to win his flyweight debut in the main event of Pinoy Pride 38 on Saturday, September 24, Sunday, 
September 25th in Manila, at the StubHub Center in Carson, California. In first outing as 112-pound competitor, Nietes defeated Sosa via unanimous decision, receiving three 120-108 marks across the panel. The 34-year-old Pugilis from Bacolan City, Negros Occidental proved to be the more superior boxer than Sosa as the Mexican stalwart had no answer to the Filipino's methodical offense. Nietes toyed Sosa with exquisite combinations and bombarded his Mexican foe with excellently timed counterpunches. Putting a boxing clinic from bell to bell, Nietes appeared he was about to finish Sosa as he staggered his opponent with a crisp 1-2 combination in the dying seconds of the 10th round. I wasn't in a hurry to knock Sosa out because I want to test my power at 112 pounds, Nietes said in his post-fight interview. With the impressive victory over Sosa, Nietes improves his professional record to January 4, 39, 22 co's and captures the vacant WBO Intercontinental Flyweight title. Meanwhile, Sosa downgrades his prize fighting slate to 52-10, 30 co's and has lost three of his last six bouts. Aside from Nietes' conquest of Sosa, Pinoy prospect Mark Megzeo, 15-0, continued his impressive undefeated streak as a professional boxer by carving out a unanimous decision win over Mexican journeyman Ramiro Robles, 13-6-1, 8 co's, in the co-headliner of Pinoy Pride 38. The 21-year-old standout from Tag by Laram City. Boal outclassed Robles in 12 rounds to sweep the judges' scorecard with the scores of 119-107, 118 108 and 120-106. Reed, King Arthur Villanueva demolishes Mexican rival in round 2. Magseo was supposed to face Ruben Garcia, but the latter was forced to withdraw from the bout due to an injury. Robles who stepped in to serve as Garcia's replacement on less than two weeks' notice, surprised many by showing heart all throughout the in-ring encounter. Despite absorbing tremendous punishment from Megzeo, Robles was unfazed of his opponent's attacks and braved through the solid combinations. Even though Megzeo scored a knockdown in the seventh round with a right hand to the midsection, Robles decided to put the up-and-coming Filipino boxer's power and character to test as he opted not to throw in the towel. Robles might have stood his ground, but Megseo did enough to earn the ringside official's undivided nod. Invite you to watch the video. The voice still rules, even if American Idol, AI, ended its run last May after 15 seasons, the search for the next singing star doesn't seem to wane. Hence, it is not surprising that The Voice US remains a much-awaited reality singing search, with two successful seasons aired every year. With its recent third Emmy win as Best Reality Competition Program, The Voice US Season 11 recently premiered, this time on Star World, where American Idol used to air. The Voice 11 airs on a new daytime schedule at 1 p.m. on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, with primetime encores at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. Farrell Williams and Christina Aguilera are out as coaches. The season New coaches Miley Cyrus and Alicia Keys are seated on the red swivel chairs, with long-time coaches Adam Levine and Blake Shelton. For the first time, there are two female coaches on the panel, so feminine power is strongly evident. Miley appeared as lead advisor in the knockout rehearsals last season. Multi-Grammy winner Alicia joined Farrell in the battle rehearsals in Season 7. Miley undoubtedly stole the limelight with her attire on the first night of the blind auditions. Although casual in an all-denim get-up, faux pink roses heavily adorn her pants, in her blouse, jacket and even her hair, so you will immediately notice her presence. Miley also dominates the swivel chair row, especially when she enlists an artist. Her childlike enthusiasm becomes evident as she fights for one artist to join her team. She jumps up and down, turns around, screams and dances. Entertainment, article Rick, page match. 1. Section Match 1. Music celebrities will join the judges in the battle rounds. Bette Midler will team up with Team Blake, rock legend Sammy Hagar with Team Adam, rock superstar Joan Jett with Team Miley and singer Charlie Puth with Team Alicia. In the first, two-part episode, there were already promising talents who impressed the coaches and the audience. There were four cheer-turners early on in the blind auditions, 
with the coaches all wanting to get the talented artists to join their respective teams. Artists as young as 15-year-old like Gabe Broussard from Lafayette, Louisiana and as veteran as 56-year-old Dan Schaefer from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, tried it out and passed the blind auditions. The first four chair turner was 33-year-old Dave Moisant from Louisville, Kentucky. He rendered Maroon 5's revival of Marcy Playground's alternative rock hit, Sex and Candy, and ultimately chose Team Alicia. Another four-chair turner was 28-year-old Ali Caldwell from Brooklyn, New York, who belted out Ariana Grande's Dangerous Woman, which made Miley win over her. Next was 17-year-old Wee McDonald from Patterson, New Jersey. He sang Feeling Good from the 1965 Broadway musical, Roar of the Grease Paint. He chose to join Team Alicia. Former Grammy nominee Bill Gilman, who is a young country artist from Richmond, Rhode Island, had the four coaches wanting to enlist him to their teams. Bill, however, ended up with Team Adam. Meanwhile, an early treat was when Adam beautifully crooned The Way You Look Tonight with 16-year-old Riley Elmore from West Dundee, Illinois. Riley became a strong toss-up for Team Adam and Team Blake, but Riley went with the former. Carson Daly remains the host. Season 10 winner was former child actress Elizabeth Porter, who recorded her original song, Down That Road. Thank you for watching videos like you remember, the channel register and comment below. Thank you.